Hi Aquarius, welcome back. So before I say anything, I just want to say thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You guys, you guys blow me away with the amount of views from last month reading. I mean, I'm at 46,000 views for the reading for uh, for you guys for the month of September. And it's just like, I was just like looking at it. I was like, oh my God, like what is going on? <laughs> and I just, I don't know, man, you guys really came through and I just wanted to, um, to thank you guys. Like you guys are just so supportive and I just love connecting to the Aquarian energy. Whether you're sun, moon or rising, I love and respect Aquarius signs so much. So that means like honestly the world to me. So thank you again. That's why I'm here early, um, uh, with you guys reading, I just want to make sure that I show my appreciation towards you guys. So, let's focus on October. Let's focus on Libra season and Scorpio season, which is coming, Aquarius. And um, you guys are manifesting things at the moment. And you know what's so powerful is that you guys are starting to see the signs. Like you're starting to see a certain new pattern that has been going on for like the last, maybe the last nine months. And you guys are just becoming aware of it. Like at one point you can't go around it anymore. Like you see things happening, you see that, um, the negative attracts negative things, the positive attracts positive things, even though it doesn't always make sense to think a certain way when you don't really see, like physically see an option or a way out and then still choose to apply some of that magic of manifesting and which says to always just leave an open heart for a miracle or for a chance or for a shot, for something positive to come in or for a ch change or a shift to happen. And with that just little, little piece of hope, little piece of faith that things work out the way they're supposed to work out, you guys are so powerful in manifesting at the moment. And let me see. What spirit message are we getting for you guys? There we go. We have memories. That's beautiful. Memories. Okay. I'm going to read it for you guys. Your memories are like diamonds. Sorry. Are like diamonds in the treasure chest of your spirit. More and more memories are arising within you. Remember the happier times, the happier moments with your loved ones who are in the spirit world. For neither time nor distance can stop the energy of love that you have for one another. How beautiful is that message, Aquarius? So if you have somebody that passed away, if you have somebody that, you know, is no longer here with us in the 3D world, I just want to let you know, like, listen, oh, oh, there's like time and space and distance between us, but that doesn't mean that it can stop our frequency of love. Like you're sending me love by thinking about happy times that we had and spent together. That's the way you keep me alive. And I know it's such a, maybe a weird thing to say, but that's this beautiful movie. Um, it's a Disney movie, actually. I'm not a big of a Disney watcher movie. Like I'm, I'm not like a hater or anything. It's just I don't watch it very often. But I watched this movie named Coco and I think a lot of you guys did. And there's such a beautiful message hiding in there of um, the way we keep them alive, the way we keep them relevant, the way we keep them um, with us is by the memories and by the pictures and by the things. So our memories keep them here, keep them, give them energy you know and that's the thing they're really asking you like just think about all the good times you've spent together and take some time out in october to just do that you know to just take some time to rethink or maybe open up a, an old photo album and just about a, a vacation you guys had or anything like that 
and just think about the positive energy so you can feel loved you know um what was the moment you laughed really hard with that person like stuff like that it really helps you to heal your energy and surrounding the fact that you've you've uh, lost that person and the hurt that comes with that so i'm seeing a lot of progress with that and um, to open up your heart again for um, the more warmer loving energy that that you know is around that person and just the fact that you feel grief and loss and sadness for that so that's a message i'm getting for you guys with that one i'm also just getting something for some of you guys and um, there's they're showing me and really saying me it's you're allowed to have fun like that's literally what they're showing me and saying to me like don't think that when you laugh really hard that you have to feel guilty in some sort of way like have fun you're allowed to have fun maybe it's some somebody's spouse that has passed away and they're really just telling you like listen go out and 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 try and live and date maybe even like just have fun they're really trying to push you like you're allowed to have fun i'm giving you the green light over here i love you no matter what and you know it's like they really show me that message so that's for somebody so that's beautiful actually that would, if I would receive that message and I knew it was for me, like I would felt strongly connected, I, it would make me sort of a little bit of like, I, it would make me cry so I can understand if it does. Um, I'm going to get into the general reading for all of you guys. Well, most of you guys, of course. Because Aquarius, I saw this change last month and I don't know why, but 46,000 of you guys were sending to that reading to that message uh, by the universe, I guess, right? And I really believe in that. Like, that's why I'm not too focused. That's why I'm not too focused on the views itself because I feel that every the person that needs to hear that message will find the video through whatever channel. And not, I mean, not YouTube channel. I mean, like, you know, through whatever way it will come to that reading. So... I feel that was for like a very big part of you guys, a group of you guys that are just experiencing changes. And maybe not necessarily that you can see it yet, you know, that, that really everything has shifted and changed and nothing is the same that we're comparing to, I don't know, May or something. But you feel it. Some way, somehow, you're starting to feel it within. A shift, an opening, I'm feeling like I'm hearing like opening of the heart of letting that little bit of hope, little bit of magic in with the daily life, with the daily things, with the things that normally don't go the way you want them to go. You're still letting in that little bit of magic, you know, that little bit of sprinkle of hope, which is changing the whole dynamic. Like it's changing so much and... Like that, that came up in you guys reading last month, you know, it just really did. It was so much positive energy. It actually blew me away. I was like, okay, how many more cards are going <laughs> to say a certain, you know, positive shift, positive change, because it really did. And that new opening, that new energy you guys are getting access to. And I see a lot of you guys doing that already. That is actually like the way you are going to make decisions and change. I feel it's also a new set, a new found of patience. It's more in like, it's like, okay, I'll wait. I don't know when it's going to show up, but I'll wait. You know, it's like the negative energy around that. It's more like, no, I trust the universe. This, this time I just trust it. Like if it's not coming in, it's not the time. I feel that I just need to go with the flow of the universe. Like I need to go in divine timing it. Like that knowing, like that planning of things in that energy is so powerful. So I was just about to say like, listen, there is some divine timing going on with the cards. <laughs> Look at that. Wow, that's powerful Aquarius. The Ace of Wands. 
Ace of Wands, a powerful, passionate new beginning, a new beginning, a fresh start. And I'm feeling that it, like I, like it's this one, and you have like this little, you know, things leaves are starting to grow. It's very fruitful, you know, it's fruitful, and it's very firm. It's like firmly taking a stand. I'm not gonna do this anymore. I'm not gonna allow that anymore. I am going this direction, and I'm gonna try it like this, and putting that all that. That, that strong, firm, Aquarian energy towards that. Taking a stand. I'm seeing. Okay, let's see what else coming up. Wow, okay. Should we just take all these cards? Why not, right? We'll just roll with it. I'm just going to put them up right for now. Oh, you got some funny people around you, Aquarius. It's not surprising me at all. Let me see. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. That is beautiful. So what happens when you say no? What happens, Aquarius, when you say no? Not this time. No thing, no, no. Yeah, people are gonna throw tantrums at you, you know this. It's about, it's not necessarily about you just saying no. It's more about, I, I, I want to give to this or I want to be part of this, but I want things to be equal. I think that I've given enough of my energy for right now and I would like to see something to come from it. Whether we're talking about a work situation, maybe a partnership with you and a business partner, or it could be a relationship or a family bond or something like that. I'm seeing you... Taking a stand with people you have been like that have been around you and in your life for for some time. It's been a long time. I'm hearing it's been a long time coming. You had this conversation. We spoke about this last month, but it hasn't. Like I said, it's not necessarily the energy, like the reaction of that of the other person you're talking to. That's going to be different. It's the way you come and show up in the conversation that is making that ch change. And you're doing that so good, Aquarius. So I'm so proud of you. I really am. Because I'm seeing them throwing, throwing all kinds of things. They're throwing tantrums of like, how can you treat me like this? How can you talk to me like this? But if you don't help me, then who's going to help me? It's like really like that. But like that energy that's a little manipulating, I'm not going to lie, but it's not that I'm doing it on purpose, it's the way they used to handle the situation. <clears throat> I'm seeing you, it's been a long time coming for you to stand up and find and search that balance, which is, you know, really Libra energy. It's been a long time coming, but it's definitely not, it's definitely here to stay. I'm hearing so you wanted to find balance relationships and balance situations it's causing some friction you know people can come up to you in a heart like in a in a um in sort of like a harsh way of communication which you can handle um but it's not in like don't let it lock you down don't let it put you on lockdown like Closed heart, closed energy, closed everything, closed communication, closed body language. You got to just stand in your power and stay there with the open energy and open heart. And just try and focus and put that passion towards your work. If you lock down everything because there's a person in your life that's that, that's causing friction, you know, that's just 
coming at you very strongly and you close off everything so you can't touch your emotions you can you like you know how you can sort of shift that like to just go 100% in the mind and not let allow energy of feelings and emotions to you know combine the two um to enter as well that's the moment where you lose your creativity your creative sight and you don't want that you know it's like you need the all the creative energy and the open mindedness that you got and the open heart energy that you got right now to manifest this new this new thing you got going on because i see you working on something aquarius that is something you are working on you want to manifest something regardless what the other person has his needs and his things and wants from you you want to focus on yourself right now or maybe just you know close relationship you got but it's asking you to do almost the impossible for right now. I see you. It, it, it's, it's bringing so much growth towards you guys. But it is actually a real challenge for you guys. Because the way these people communicate with you and towards you. Your natural response is like, okay, lockdown. No, you're not going to get any energy from me. But what happens, everything goes on lockdown. So you kind of have to sort of find a creative way of speaking your truth. Because don't close down. Speak it, Aquarius. Tell that person. Tell them. Write it down. Or do whatever. But you need to release the energy so it doesn't just, you know, grab you and just hold you on lockdown. You don't. That's not going to help you. It's going to hurt you. I'm getting that so strongly. Yeah, it's not major. It feels major for like one and a d like one or two days. It feels like really big of an issue, and then it apps away. The other person just just comes up in a different energy towards you. If you keep your energy open during that conversation or after the conversation, like don't go on lockdown. Don't go in their energy. I'm hearing like don't mirror it. Just stay in your own lane. You got this really good thing coming for you. This is just a natural response once you ask for equality. They just don't want to give it to you because they're so used to you giving, giving, giving. And then they sometimes just show up. You know? Okay. That's like sort of the relationship energy. Let me see. I'm getting... Okay. Somehow. Okay. So what happens? <laughs> what happens, Aquarius, when you don't do the lockdown, when you stay open, when you try and let that little bit of magic in? They're going to respect you for that. They're going to respect you more. Yes, it caused friction. You see, it's a five of one. It's not major, but there is something going on on the lining, right? There is, they're trying to keep you stuck in the old energy. It's a natural thing for them to do. I'm not, you know, going to put too much energy towards that, but it's you. Like I said, it's not the other people that all of a sudden, you know, decide to, to be this giving. It's something you have to speak up about and then let them think how they want to handle the situation. It's, you know? Give them some any, some chance to do that as well. But like I said, once you step up and you stand in your energy, not in like, I'm going to attack you, like I'm going to claim this power. No, I'm just going to ask it. You know, I'm just going to show up in this, like, I respect myself on this level. If you can, like, respect me in the same, like, in an equal way as I respect you and myself, then I don't think that we should, like, you know, be in each other's energy. I just don't think... That's healthy for either one of us. It's like really grown up. And you're getting so much respect for that. Because it's by you seeing and claiming your own self-worth and respect. That's when people are starting to value as something really special. They're starting to see your worth. Because you are worth a lot, Aquarius. I'm just going to say it. You are. Seeing a lot of recognition. And no, um, yes, you're going to get recognized for certain things. 
I'm sorry, I have to cough. <coughs> I'm really sorry. I'm having some throat issues these last couple days. And then all of a sudden, I just can't speak. So, okay. I should have brought my water, but it's in the other room. So, I'm just going to continue. <clears throat> that really threw me off. Anyway. <laughs> Um, let me see. You're gonna get recognition, I'm hearing. Yeah, it's back. Okay, I'm sorry, guys. You're gonna get recognized for... It's like two things. So for some of you guys, you're gonna get viewed you know people are viewing you and like oh my god i've never knew that he or she could do that or you have like a youtube page or something that's gonna get a lot of views um or a lot of recognition but really true love people just gonna you know naturally come to it and just just like this energy stream towards your project really good if you are in that type of um, business or something then keep going you got this october is gonna be a really good month for you so that's like a side note but what I also see is that people are really going to respect you and treat you the way you deserve. That is changing. It's growing. I feel like you're... Honestly. This is... <laughs> doing the most... Okay. It was the World Card and the Wheel of Fortune. No, I don't want to pass on those two cards, okay. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad, Aquarius. This energy is still here. It's a world card and the wheel of fortune. An ending of cycles. Could be like, I'm hearing like even like 12 year cycles. It's like, it's been 12 years, you know, that's really what I'm hearing. Could be, you know, 12 months or something, but it just represents that no matter how long, how long something has been the way it was in your life. It's like a story of my life I'm hearing, right? Doesn't matter how long the cycle goes on and on and every time you try and it doesn't work out or every time this or every time that and just keep repeating and repeating and repeating. Yes, there are many reasons for that. Not for this video because it's going to be a long talk. But what I'm trying to say with that, that does not mean that there's not a new chapter. That's not another way things can go. That's not like, it's, there's always an opportunity, a cycle is ending and something else is starting. And maybe you've been having a lot of trouble with like finances and stuff for a very long time. Maybe for like even, I don't know, 10, 12 years. That doesn't mean that that's going to be there for the rest of your life. Sometimes we have a lot of energy that we need to work through and we need to see things from a different perspective. Also, when you have financial issues, I'm hearing is like, don't focus on keeping, like holding on so closely to what you got. Focus on how you can create more. So it's like an open energy. That's really just a side note. Sometimes we can have great relationships, great things going on, but we always seem to end up with, I don't know how, but with like um, a check to check situation where you just nearly make enough, you know, every month or like not enough for two months straight. And it's just, but the rest of your life is like pretty like, you know, going and flowing. And, but then that's just one aspect of your life where it's just, won't flow and then sometimes it can do 180 on you and like your money is great and everything but then you have so much challenge in your relationships and sometimes everything at once right it feels like that but it's a cycle it's and i'm seeing like a major cycle ending and a new start i'm getting that for a lot of you guys it has to do with relationships but it could also definitely be work it's like you've been working on something trying to get recognized or viewed or anything you know just trying to get 
the success or the energy towards your business that it can have, right? Where you believe in and it just wouldn't go. And I see like a change, major change in that, like a shift. Very positive actually. Yeah. It all has to do... I'm just going to take these cards. It all has to do with that commitment that I saw last month. The commitment of if the tower has to come down, just bring it down. I'm just going to embrace whatever change is coming at me. I'm embrace it. I'll keep an open heart. I try to heal what I need to heal and work through. I am done with just doing this all the time with everything. Just holding on. And right? Like that close up energy I'm, I was speaking about. It's like I'm I'm just going to oh I, I'll just whatever right like whatever you got coming from me just bring it in i'm ready for this change i'll i know you guys are a fixed energy you guys are a fixed sign so it's not easy but i'm seeing that you're just like you know you're like whatever bring it in bring it on i'm hearing like what if the tower got to come down just let it come down already and i'm, I'm seeing like you guys are really making a commitment to that it's like okay I'm making a commitment to embrace change embrace it with every part of my soul and my being and my like everything i got i'll just commit to try and embrace it as much as i can because it helps the energy move you know if we keep holding on to it that's also why they're showing me in the beginning it's like that memory it's like holding on to things as they were you gotta look at them it's not in in a place of lack like a place of oh i miss that person so much and now i can never do this and now i can never do that it's natural but it's also good to sometimes shift the energy and think about wow that day was amazing that day was great that day we laughed so hard and i'm so happy i got that that memory of that day it was beautiful and it made me cry but it's because of you you it's a positive energy it's like it was beautiful and you embrace it as it was as beautiful and not as um the hurt of not having a chance to have another similar day with that person that's not here anymore it's the way you embrace it very deep messages actually Aquarius but I'm just going with the flow I'm seeing you a lot of healing is happening and you know it's not it's not it's not everything you know you can't fix and change everything at one go you know that and that's not, doesn't have to be you know it starts with one step it starts with like this guy right he's going towards from from this water into a more peaceful water and takes one paddle at a time and he's moving forward and it's not about how quickly you get to things it's about the constant moving energy whether it's slow or it's fast it's moving so it's really really the message for you guys for this month is just to embrace the change because bringing beautiful things in i mean 2019 fire for the aquarius energy And it's just beautiful because you guys really do deserve it. I'm not going to lie. Like you guys had a rough time. Love looks really good. I feel the partner. I really like holding you on. Like, um, how do I say that? They really admire you for the growth and change that you're making. They really see the beauty in you. That's beautiful. So that really going to help your energy and your relationship move forward. Okay. I think that's it for this month, Aquarius. There's so much going on. Just embrace the change. I'm just saying, like, go with the flow. Let things balance out by the universe. Because, yeah, the Libra energy is pretty strong. Some things can shock you. There there will be some surprise elements again this month. I'm not going <laughs> to... It's just keep continuing. But it's passionate. And it's, it's beautiful. 
I'm so proud of you guys. Just keep doing what you're doing. You're doing the right thing. The cards keep showing me. Like, uh, they just actually giving me an update about where you guys are at. And um, I'm just here to say, like, keep doing what you're doing. You're on the right path. So I'm really proud of you. Thank you, Aquarius. Um, I hope to see you guys next month. Um, feel free to leave a comment because I love reading you guys' comments. And have a great, amazing October and enjoy Halloween if, if you're celebrating that. Okay, bye guys. Love you. Bye.